Let's get into it now. A spoiler-free movie review of the Marvels, and I'm probably in the minority here, but I was excited to see the sequel to Captain Marvel. I think the character herself is a really great character, arguably the strongest Avenger. I don't care what you say. I do think, however, that movie was rushed because they're really trying to establish that character as we went into Endgame. So I feel like the timeline when that movie came out, we didn't have enough attention to it. And then we went into Endgame and we haven't seen the character since. So what this movie is about, you have Captain Marvel now teaming up with Miss Marvel and Monica Rambeau and all their powers become entangled. So whenever one tries to fully use their powers, they switch with another member of the crew. So you have them teaming up, learning how to work together and make it to where they can all change powers and it be seamless and they can go against the big villain. You also have Nick Fury in here, kind of ill-placed in this entire movie. And I'm going to go with three things I liked and three things I didn't like about this movie, starting with the positive first, Miss Marvel. I didn't love the Disney Plus show, but her character in this movie was probably the best part. And it's also the only part of this movie that really had heart. Phase five is just lacking emotion and lacking heart. The Marvel identity is kind of getting watered down because what made those initial movies great were the emotional connection we had with the characters, and I'm not really feeling that anymore. The only time I ever felt a sliver of that was with Miss Marvel's family. Second thing I liked about this movie was the costume design. A good superhero costume goes a long way. Miss Marvel's suit was very bright and colorful, and Captain Marvel had like the worn down, subdued colors kind of reminded me of the old Captain America suit that I love. So aesthetically, the suits look great in this movie, which I feel like in phase five, there hasn't been much attention to that. So they didn't really need a whole lot of special effects going on with those suits to make them look great. Second thing I liked about the movie. Third thing I liked about the movie, the visual effects were actually a lot better than I was expecting which they've been struggling with. But I was kind of looking for those moments that took me out of the movie, whether it be something with a weird facial expression. I didn't see blatant bad visual effects. I do think, though, they're using way too much as far as all the backgrounds, not really feeling like there's any life to them. Again, that's kind of the theme with Phase 5 right now is... We're out of the MCU that exists in the real world that we know. They're not in New York City or New Jersey like Miss Marvel would be. They're really just going out into space. It feels very Star Wars-ish right now, but not in a good way. Probably all the bad parts that everybody hates about Star Wars right now is kind of what the MCU is doing. So I really think they need to get away from that. And that would also solve their issues with spending so much money on these movies and then losing a bunch of cash because if they stop focusing so much on everything that needs to come in post and get us in some real just sets where you can actually interact with things. You see some backgrounds. I think that would help the actors get better performances because throughout this entire film, Brie Larson had about one acting note. I guess I'm getting into the negative thing. So the first thing I didn't like about this movie was the acting. And I'm looking to Brie Larson, our star here, who I was the most excited to see. She had about one note throughout this entire movie, this one blank expression on her face that was her confused face, her happy face, her what is going on face. And I feel like it really changed the tone of Captain Marvel, who was so heroic in the first film and so heroic in Endgame. I feel like that identity kind of was washed away in this movie to where she didn't really feel as powerful and as in control. And that's what I want in my superhero. I want them to come in and dominate, especially her who has these incredible powers of harnessing all this light energy, being able to fly, being able to destroy cities. I didn't really feel that. It was kind of like she didn't know how to play the character anymore. But again, I think it goes back to there's so many things going on in the background that they don't get to interact with. They don't really have anything to play off when they're filming these movies that is something I'm realizing more and more really affects how we grasp onto these movies. So I don't think it's entirely her fault Maybe a little bit on the director, maybe just a little bit on the way that the MCU cranks out these movies. So, again, scaling back the budget, getting back to some basics, I think would help the MCU right now because it's just lacking some identity. Second thing I didn't like about the movie was the lack of action. The fight scenes in the MCU used to be top tier and now they're a lot more comical, probably a lot more kid-friendly, but there's no grit in the action anymore. Like there was in Civil War, like there was in Captain America, or the early Iron Man films. It just feels very lighthearted, and like there's really nothing on the line 
when a fight scene is happening right now. So this movie was lacking a lot of action and a lot of direction of where our heroes were trying to go. It wasn't until really 40 minutes into the movie that we had a clear action, a clear mission, which usually is something you should establish early on. Who's our villain? What do we need to do to defeat him? What's the plan? Which is weird for a movie that's only an hour and a half. I know the runtime is listed as one hour and 45 minutes, but we were out of there in 90 minutes with the post credit scene maybe coming at the 135 mark. So for something to feel so rushed at the end, I feel like this movie was treacherous in the editing process of figuring out what to do. Maybe it's because of all the reshoots that they decided maybe we don't have a full story here to flesh out a two-hour Marvel movie. Let's at least make it quicker and get people out of there and don't give people enough time to hate it, which is how I kind of ended up feeling about this movie. There was nothing I loved about it, but by the time it was over, there really wasn't anything I hated about it. But I found myself just getting a little bit bored at the story. I love the characters. I just didn't love the story. I didn't love the villain. So I wasn't ready to go on this journey with them. So it was almost like I would have clicked next mission on this movie and picked something else. Because I actually think that plot point is really great of them having these entangled powers. They should have had a lot more fun with that. So I kind of lumped it in there. But the third thing I did not like about this movie was the villain. There was no point where I felt that anything was really on the line, like they were really fighting for something. The objective really wasn't that clear of why they were trying to take down this villain. So in order for me to really be invested and get that hurrah moment that we all look for in an MCU movie, you're supposed to have that heroic feeling. Like you just watch your heroes take on somebody that looked at one point to be unstoppable. I didn't get that here. Again, it felt very rushed in those last 15 to 20 minutes. So there was no real, ah, we're not going to get our heroes to where we need them to be. It was just, okay, here we are. Here's the situation. And now it's over. What exactly did we just experience here? So by no means is this movie just blatantly bad. It's just very bland and generic and safe. I wanted them to go a little bit harder especially when you have an all-female lead cast, which I love. Again, the characters are great. The story in this movie just doesn't really make sense and didn't really need to happen, and therefore just kind of feels like a weak stepping stone as we are navigating through Phase 5, really just trying to scrape through it and keep people interested in Marvel as they go into Phase 6. I also feel like this is a movie, because it is female-led, that people are just going to hate without even watching the movie. Because really when it was all said and done... This movie felt to me like it was made for Disney+. Plus. Just the film quality itself, the cinematography, nothing screamed to me that this needed to be on the big screen. I think if you took this same story and chopped it up into four, five, maybe six episodes, it would have been a smash hit. But again, it's pretty expensive, so they couldn't do that. It just feels like something that didn't have a whole lot of hype going into it. They didn't take any risks, and therefore... It's not really going to motivate people to want to go see this in theaters when it's going to come out on Disney Plus in a couple or few months. And I don't think that puts the MCU in a great place when they are in the business of making money. So this movie was all treble and no bass. And I think it's very lazy to call a movie mid. I hate it when reviewers say mid because it feels so disrespectful, but it feels so uncreative to me of just to call something mid because you know that it gets a rise out of people, especially when somebody loves something and you call it mid. It's like a big dig right into your face, right into your fandom. But that's really the only way I can describe this movie. And I hate to say it, I hate to use it, but it was so mid. I said the same thing about Ant-Man though, because even though I love parts of it, the overall story just keeps me thinking, did we really need this? Therefore, this movie was really mid and especially going into it where I wanted the Captain Marvel character to have so much time to flourish didn't really do it for me for Captain Marvel I give it 2.5 out of 5 cats